Kinsey, point on the road today against Widnes. Thoughts on today's game? It's, um, it's a good point coming away at Widnes, aren't they? But you just feel a bit, a bit low um, because we're leading with five minutes to go and it's a great, great strike from 30 yards. and It's frustrating, but it's a great strike, the unbelievable strike that's flew into the top corner. And, you just have to hold your hands up because, like I say, it was it's a bit deflating. A point here normally is is a good point. They've got the second best defensive record in the league, and they hold the shape really well. They're on a good run. They've been together a couple of years. The um, the good side, and as are many in this league. I thought second half. I thought we was the better team. I do. And we scored, and then inevitably you just naturally drop a bit. He not troubled us and he's, he's hit one from 30 yards and he could have stood there all day another 99 times and I think it landed in the stand or got it in the keeper's hands and that's the, the signal but that's football and um, and yeah we have to push on look I thought it was, thought it was very good I thought it was some standout performances I thought some players did really well I thought Darius Asai after the first 15 20 when he got into it I thought he was I thought he was a bit of an animal I thought he was I thought he was a lot stronger I thought he was a lot more effective I thought he was brilliant he's won the pen um, probably should have had another, but I'm not entirely sure, so I won't go out in it. Um, and yeah, look, good point. Well, on to the next. Uh, Jack's uh, started today uh, for Stady Bridge after his uh, return on dual reds with Glossop North End. How did you think he coped today? He's done well. But he's, look, his pace is frightening when he's at it. He's, um, he works really, really hard. He's, he's somebody who's scoring goals at the minute. Um, there was a moment just before he came off where he was 1v1 with a defender and he lined him up. and running ragged and, and that's that's what he'll bring to the table um, but yeah he, he's going to add a lot to us he's going to add a lot of pace going to add a lot of um, direct play but we've got great players here in this group so he's going to have to compete um, but I think the purpose of him going away at Gloucester has served him well they've been brilliant with him so yeah we'll see how it goes Attention now turns next week back at home against Runcorn Linnets tough test what are your thoughts going into that game? Really tough had a great win today, 4 one 5 one whatever it was against Clibro. But we're at home, um, that's where we, we love to be. We love to be at home, we've not been at home for a number of weeks. Um, we need the crowd behind us. I thought the crowd was magnificent today, by the way. I thought it was class. I feel sorry for them today because they stuck behind us. Um, what a strike. It's killed us. <laughs> it's football, so we'll look forward to next week because, um, yeah, six home games, five away to go. There's no time to rest. We're still in the playoffs. We're still in there, and um, all right, teams have got games in hand, but we're still in, and we've got a big week coming up, as have everyone else, as I keep saying. Kinsey, thanks for your time. No worries. I just want to add as well, um, Dave Pover today, I think it's his 1400th game, 1400, um, over 21 years, whatever it is, and that's just the league and cups, that's without families, and not missed a game in that time frame, I'm told. He's been so helpful for me to get an understanding about the club. Anything I need to know, I can go to him and ask. He's been so knowledgeable. He's been so supportive. Um, and he's a key, key part of what I'm trying to achieve here. And I can't thank him enough. And hopefully we'll get another 21 years out of him. And um, he can keep bringing unbelievable services to the club. He deserves all the praise that he'll get. And um, we're massively thankful to Dave Pulver.